Iranian Kurdistan. 69 Kurdish citizens executed in Iranian prisons in 2018. At least 69 Kurdish citizens were executed in prisons in Iran in 2018 alone, a decrease of 38% compared with 2017, which had 112 cases of execution. Regardless of the decrease in executions, capital punishments have also occurred. According to the report released by the Center of Hengar Organization for Human Rights, the charges include that of political activity, religious activities, and sexual harassment. Furthermore, among the executed people were a minor, three women, and two senescent citizens. Additionally, in 2018, Iran's judiciary has sentenced 10 religious activists, three political activists, and three Kurdish minors to capital punishment. Rouhani's advisor, potential of civil protests is still there. The advisor of the Iranian regime's president says that there is still potential for civil protests in Iran since the causes are not met. The social backdrop of last year's protests in Iran were totally different and deeper than from the protests in the 90s, although the economical causes are the same, stated Hesamuddin Ashna, the advisor to the Iranian regime's president. France tells Iran to stop ballistic missile work for nuclear weapons. France on Friday called on Iran to immediately stop all activities linked to ballistic missiles that could carry nuclear weapons after Tehran said it would put two satellites into orbit in the coming weeks. France recalls that the Iranian missile program is not in conformity with the UN Security Council Resolution 2231. Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Agnes von der Mool told reporters in a daily briefing. It calls on Iran to immediately seize all ballistic missile-related activities designed to carry nuclear weapons, including tests using ballistic missile technology. The Deputy Speaker of U.S. Foreign Ministry welcomed France's position. In his tweet on Friday, January 11th, Robert Palladino called France's position a powerful statement. Tehran's fear of activities led by Iranian resistance units. Shohadai Iran, a state-run news website, recently ran an article titled PMOI MEK Ride Graffiti in Behisht Zahra, in which it revealed the Iranian regime's fear of the activities led by Iranian resistance units, groups of organized activists supporting the PMOI. Writing slogans on walls and floors by the PMOI is not an uncommon sight, Shohada writes. However, the fact that the writings haven't been erased after several days might indicate that officials have become negligent in preserving the values of the revolution. U.S. officials says not to grant more waivers on Iran oil sanctions. U.S. Special Representative for Iran, Brian Hook, said on Saturday that Washington was not looking to grant any more waivers for Iranian oil after the reimposition of U.S. sanctions. Washington gave waivers to eight traditional Iranian oil buyers, including China, India, Japan and South Korea, after reimposing sanctions on Iranian oil in November.